ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third annual Beach Music Awards. From Reynolds Coliseum in Raleigh, North Carolina, starring Frankie Avalon, the Band of Oz, Ernest Thomas and Kimberly Page, Nice Wonder, Miss Virginia, USA of 1989, The Impressions, Coach Jim Valvano and Ed Janka, Billy Davis Jr., Gary Thoreau and Kelly Shepard, Miss North Carolina Teen USA of 1989, Susan Donovan, the Entertainers, Chuck Jackson and Jacqueline Padgett, Miss North Carolina USA of 1989, Marv Johnson, Gloria Hardiman, Danny McLean, Billy Scott and Buddy Skipper, Glenn Scarpelli and Valerie Pappas, Johnny Trudell, The Breeze Band, O.C. Smith, Harry Turner, Annette Sinclair Seeger, The Main Ingredient, North Tower, Billy Ward and Jennifer Parker, Miss Florida, USA, 1989, Larry Moore, Barry White, The Clovers, Chad and Brenda Alberti, Steve Hardy, Bill Deal, Ammon Tharp, The Sheiks of Shag, Kenny James and Kimberly Payne, Miss Tennessee, Shag John, Fuller Gordy, Barbara McNair and Jimmy Walker, The Embers, Tempest Bledsoe, Stan Catron and Mrs. Jackie Wilson, The Susan Donovan Dancers, and the Johnny Trudell Orchestra under the direction of Bob Alcibar. And now, ladies and gentlemen, direct from Hollywood, California, Beach Music Awards Incorporated is proud to present the Susan Donovan Dancers in Moving It Hot.
ladies and gentlemen, the host for the third annual Beach Music Awards special, Mr. Frankie Avalon. Hello, everybody! One more time, hello, everybody! Better. May I say welcome to the third annual Beach Music Awards right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. It is very nice for me to be back here again. I say back here again because, you know, through my career, I've been here many, many times. I guess the last time I was here uh, must have been, I'd say, back in 60. 1860. Huh. <laughs> Now, before I go on with the show, I just want you to know that it's very bright up here. It's almost like too much sun. And I mean that. I mean, it's not that my, uh, not anything like this. It's, it's just that I, uh, I need glasses is what I need now. You know, uh, I have had a chance to talk with several of the stars and groups appearing on tonight's show. And uh, what a great roster of entertainment. It reminds me of the good old days when a lot of people here were thinking that beach music was what they heard on those California beaches under those swaying palm trees. I wonder why that seems so clear to me, you know, like palm trees and beaches and bikinis. Well, anyway, tonight you're in store for a real treat to the real beach music from those great Atlantic beaches of the Carolinas, Virginia, Georgia, and Florida. a few palm trees in this area too, you know, but let's uh, wait no longer to hear this great music. So ladies and gentlemen, to start the celebration of the greatest in beach music, here is the Band of Oz.
Thank you. This is our latest 45 thing entitled Too Hot to Handle, y'all. Isn't that great? Now, let me tell you, you see, the Band of Oz recorded their first song, Shaggin', in 1978 and rapidly became a beach classic. At the first Beach Music Awards in 1982, the Band of Oz was presented an award for the best new group. And one of their songs, Ocean Boulevard, was voted best beach record of the year. And as you can see, with that great performance, they really capture the true sound of beach music. What is that sound? Well, let me tell you. You see, it has many elements, and it goes back 40 years. Now, what are the elements? They are rhythm and blues, black music, rock and roll, and even country. But more than that, it's a beat 
It's a mood, and it simply means having a good time. You're, you're great. Now, you see, beach music originated on the Cal Cal Carolina beaches, and it is rooted in the rhythm and blues classics of the 50s and early 60s. Visitors to Myrtle Beach and neighboring beaches began to associate the name beach music with the songs being played on jukeboxes and various clubs along the beach. In other parts of the country, similar music was, was referred to as oldies but goodies. But now, many parts of the country are being introduced to the true beach music sound for the first time. No matter how you define it, beach music involves its audience. You see, they have to get up and dance. So if you feel that, just get up and dance and have a great time. It's upbeat, it's youthful, and it's carefree. Maybe the best way to put it is that beach music is a celebration of life, a celebration of love, dancing, and friends. And it's because of the efforts of one gentleman in particular that beach music is coming into its wide recognition. It deserves. It is my privilege to introduce with you now and to you now, ladies and gentlemen, the founder of Beach Music Awards and president of Beach Productions Incorporated, Mr. John X. Aragona. John? Thank you, Frankie. Thank you, Frankie. It's a joy to be recognized and appreciated, particularly by those within the music industry. The real thanks, however, belongs to everyone over the years who either gave birth to beach music or helped nurture it, keeping this very personal form of music from fading into obscurity. And, thanks, and the thanks now extends to those who are helping us spread the word. But this evening isn't about words, it's about music, beach music. And I'd like to emphasize one thing. This is not an award show with music. This is a music show with awards. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us here this evening in this very, very special celebration. Now let's get on with the music we all love, beach music. Thank you, John X. Aragona. He uses that X because that's the way he signs the checks. You know, um, while acting at the prestigious American Academy of Dramatic Arts, Ernest Thomas was offered the leading role in Joyce Carol Oates' Miracle Play, which was followed by the role of the tough gang leader in Don't Call Back, directed by another fine actor and also a great director, Anthony Perkins. Now, more work followed in plays for Hal Prince, member of The Wedding and Love for Love. And a month later, he landed both the new agent, which always helps, and a role on The Jeffersons, followed two months later by the lead on What's Happening. Ernest also co-wrote and sang What's Happening Now and the song Peace on MCA Records. Also here to present the award for Beach Classic of the Year is Kimberly Page Nice Wonder. She's Miss Virginia, USA of 1989, and Kimberly has a two-year degree from New River Community College. She plans to continue her education and also to pursue a career in modeling. She is also an avid tennis player. So ladies and gentlemen, please, Mr. Ernest Thomas and Miss Kimberly Page, nice wonder. What's happening? <laughs> uh, I'm very happy to be here with uh, Miss Virginia USA, Kimberly Nice Wonder. Your name fits you beautifully. Thank you, Ernest. So, what's happening? <laughs> the Beach Music Award rerun. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. He's not here. He's kickstarting 747. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's kickstarting 747s at LAX. But anyway, no, the Beach, Music, Beach Classic of the Year Award is presented to the artists of the Beach Classic with exceptionally enduring quality and longevity that projects the essence of beach music. 
The nominees for this year's award are Brenda O.C. Smith. Yeah. It started with a kiss by Hot Chocolates. Miss Grace by The Times. Yeah. Under the Boardwalk by The Drifters. Yeah. Give Me You by the Dominoes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is Brenda. I will treasure this and uh, uh, count it among uh, those things that, uh, again, that I treasure very much. Thank you so very much, and God bless you. You know, it's considered an accomplishment to have a uh, hit in more than one major market. And if that's the case, our next group is really phenomenal. I mean, they've had more than one hit in almost every market. Their first hit was For Your Precious Love. And they've only gotten better because their current sound surpasses anything that they've done before with a special message to make the world a better place. Ladies and gentlemen, please, the impressions. Yeah. 
to the show. Yeah, yeah. Keep on. If there ever was a frustrated actor and show business trooper, it is our very next special presenter who has, I mean, energy and enthusiasm bound up all in one. I mean, he has appeared on major TV talk shows and he has hosted his own local television show and he also delivers motivational messages to major corporations across America. But most important of all, he has led a very special group of men to the final eight three different times and to the NCAA championship in 1989. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, a great chef and the head basketball coach and athletic director of NC State's Wolfpack, Mr. Jim Galvano. What, what, you, what Frankie failed to mention is I have a point guard whose name is Chris Corciani, who will graduate in a couple of years, and we have room, if you have el eligibility, for another small Italian point guard. What do you think? <laughs> Can he do it? <laughs> I'm ready. 
It is a distinct pleasure to uh, welcome all of you to North Carolina State University. Um, though, how many Wolfpack fans do we have out there? Then, then let me let me please take a moment to tell you that uh, we. I also have this award later, but we got another one today, which uh, says North Carolina State's football team will play in the Peach Bowl this year. And let's have a hand. Up. It is, it is delightful to be here also because many of you don't realize the long history that Italians from Queens, New York have with beach music and the shag. A lot of people, a lot, you don't realize that. We call it the Lindy in New York. It's, oh yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It's the shag here, and when I get down to Myrtle Beach and other beaches here in North Carolina, I can shag my brains out, especially when my wife is not there. Is she here? Where's my wife? Is she here? Is she laughing? Hopefully she's laughing. It, it, I welcome everyone here. It's a pleasure. At this time, I'd also like to have you meet a very good friend of mine, Mr. Ed Janka. Mr. Janka has been a manager of basketball promotions for Nike Incorporated for the past four years. Prior to that, he coached 17 years, including high school, college, and professional basketball in Italy, which is a pretty nice place, to be honest with you. Uh, Ed Janka works closely with us here at NC State in our basketball program. More importantly for all of us here tonight, he is a great beach music lover. Mr. Ed Janka from Nike. <laughs> this is my building. When I do this, that's it. I read what, you know what I'm saying? I read what was up there, but the fact of the matter is, Ed Jank is from Chicago, and I, they got a lot of beaches in Chicago, Eddie? We don't have a whole lot of beaches, but I'll tell you, we can shag with the best of them. Believe me. You can shag We love the beach music. Okay, I'll accept it. that. Believe I would like to, like to mention, they said about the relationship between Nike and NC State. Mm -hmm. Is NC State important to your corporation? NC State, you and NC State are very, very important to Nike, but, you know, we got this guy that uh, played up the road here, Michael Jordan. <laughs> He helps us out a little bit. Yeah. I never heard. I never heard of him. Uh, yeah. Is that the guy who gets up pretty good? Not bad. Place for bad. the little, place that little coach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Michael Jordan in North Carolina. Certainly. Now it's the, okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Although I know for a fact Dean Smith cannot shag. I know that. <laughs> I'm doing. Just telling you the truth, folks. Just telling you the truth. The, the, uh, the award for Beach Show Club of the Year is awarded to an outstanding beach music club that presents in-person appearances by artists. The award is based on staging, public acceptance, leadership, and overall contribution to the beach music image. The nominees for this year's award are The Guard from Winston-Salem. <laughs> Fat Rogers of Virginia Beach. Copper Landing in High Point. Coquina in Myrtle Beach. <laughs> and Spalish Galleon, North Myrtle Beach. You don't, you don't know why we're laughing. You don't understand how hard this is for an Italian guy and a Polish guy do this where thing. they spelled half the words it's wrong over there. <laughs> But that's how it's, smart we are. It said, it said guy point, and I thought he was going to say guy point. And uh, the winner is, here we go. The Coquina Club is the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, the Coquina Club could not appear with us this evening. The Beach Music Awards Board of Governors is proud to accept their award on their behalf. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy Davis Jr. made his professional debut at the age of 11, appearing in clubs in St. Louis and on the then-infant television screen. Later, while stationed with the U.S. Army in Germany, he really packed in huge crowds at the military clubs. And upon his return to St. Louis, he added two gorgeous ladies and his two buddies to the act, and they became the fifth dimension. Now, one of the ladies, Marilyn McCoo, later became his wife. The original fifth dimension group had a phenomenal 18-year run 
I mean earning six Grammy Awards, 14 gold records, and hosting their own CBS summer show. Now today, Billy Davis is in high demand for performances dates at resorts in Atlantic City and corporate shows and companies in Vegas and so forth, IBM, and his latest project is the very contemporary song, I've Been Thinking About You, recorded for MSI label. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful, my friend, Mr. Billy Davis, Jr. You know, I found out a few months ago that uh, we had a record on the beach uh, music charts. It was number 26. And I didn't even know anything about it. But I'd like to do it for you right now. Women against the tide But my words get all tangled And I'm walking in the door Like a bird I want to fly into your arms Take me on your Look what you've done to my heart You took my love from the start Baby Look what you've done to my heart Baby It's never 
Gentlemen, here to present the award for best new act of the year is Mr. Gary Thoreau. Now, Gary is a senior music ed editor at Reader's Digest and is a radio personality at station WZFM in New York. He is also a writer and contributor to music encyclopedias and other publications. Gary wrote and produced the 52 hour long radio special, History of Rock and Roll which won Billboard's Top Special Program of the Year Award. His latest book, called The Top Ten, 1956 to the Present, was published by Simon & Schuster in 1982. Also presenting this award is Kelly Shepard, Miss North Carolina Teen USA 1989. Kelly is a student at Clyde A. Irwin High School in Asheville. She enjoys jazz, ballet, and modeling. She also appeared in the movie, Dirty Dancing. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Gary Thoreau and Miss Kelly Shepard. The award for best new act is presented to the act that has shown the most progress and talent that is new to both the area and the industry. This year, the nominees are Kicks, Toys, Sheiks of Shag, East Coast Rivieras, and lastly, PTPTB. And the winner is the part-time part party time, time band, James Whitley. Wow, well, what an honor to uh, receive an award for something you enjoy doing this much. Um, I guess I'd like to thank Tim Eaton from Studio East and Donnie Lawrence for 
Uh, a great production effort on the song Part Time, Party Time Man, and pick it up where we left off. Also, um, JR, I should say John Roth from East Coast Entertainment, Mike Branch from Insight Talent, and certainly the fine folks and all the radio stations across the Carolinas and Virginia, uh, especially our friends down at WRDX in Salisbury. John Hook. <laughs> Thank you. I'd like to say we've got a real hard working group of guys. Guys that have a lot of fun, which is what beach music is all about. And we would like to dedicate this award tonight to two of our members' fathers. Uh, they passed away in the last couple of years. They supported Ed Blair and Jim Johnson in a lot of ways. So, guys, this is for your dads. Thank you. Kenny James began singing in the junior choir at his church, and later on he was entered in an amateur night at New York's famed Apollo Theater. And he was really against some stiff competitions. As a matter of fact, he won first prize. But I got to tell you, you see, he was too young to collect it which was a week's paid engagement in 1986. Now, Kenny was a winner of the Star Search Male Vocalist Grand Champion Award, and he recently had a sellout show at Los Angeles' Roxy Theater. Here is, ladies and gentlemen, singing his hit song, Miss Grace, from new, discover new discovery to emerging superstar, Mr. Kenny James. the Beach Music Award Shaggers of the Year contest is the co-producer and choreographer of tonight's show, Ms. Susan B. Donovan. Thank you. I'm proud to present the Shaggers of the Year Awards. In 1981, the Shaggers Preservation Association tied the beach clubs and the Shaggers in North and South Carolina together. All of our contestants are members of this association and have been judged in five categories. Those categories are smoothness, togetherness, repertoire, degree of difficulty, and execution. The winners in the amateur division are Danny and Lori Johnson. Thank you and congratulations. And the winners in the novice category are Jean and Kathy Benfield. Thank you and congratulations. And the winners in the professional category are Charlie Womble and Jackie McGee. Thank you and congratulations, all of you. And ladies, please help me welcome all of the Shaggers from the Shagging Preservation Association.
ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how many of you are visiting Raleigh for the first time, but I've been here many, many times throughout the years, and it never ceases to fail my, my eyes by seeing the beauty of Raleigh here. Now, don't talk about Hoosier basketball or Ohio football here. I mean, the Wolfpack does them both and does them better. And I'll never go to Ohio. <laughs> So I want you to know that I, for one, am excited to be here on this great campus to help salute beach music. And thanks to our next group's exceptional showmanship, it has established itself as prevailing beach band in the Southeast. They play to delighted crowds and festivals and concerts throughout the region. The name on their first album says it all. Give a warm welcome to the entertainers. Six is for laughter 
It's good for the soul Number seven is for patience I won't lose control Number eight and nine The one and the same They both make you proud To carry my name Number ten makes me tingle And blush when I say I promise Chuck Jackson has personified a style of powerhouse singing. In the early 60s, Chuck was in the forefront of rhythm and blues when it gave birth to a variety of new music forms. This new music exploded in neighborhood taverns across the country and all the way to New York's famed Apollo Theater. Throughout the late 60s and 70s, Chuck Jackson was in highest demand as a recording artist. And at the same time, he was appearing at major casinos in Reno, Vegas, and Tahoe. He was also a featured artist on NBC's Motown Celebrates 50 Years of the Apollo Theater. Today, he is a captivating and unforgettable international artist. Also presenting this award for best club song of the year is Jacqueline Padgett, Miss North Carolina, USA, 1989. Jacqueline is a native of Greenville and is a senior at East Carolina University. By the way, her special interests are physical fitness, writing, poetry, and traveling. So ladies and gentlemen, please, Mr. Chuck Jackson and Ms. Jacqueline Padgett. Thank you. We're here to present an award, aren't we? Yes, we are. <laughs> the award for the best club song of the year is based on music com composition, lyric, content, and artist performance for a dance club single album cut played in dance clubs as a background for shagging. It is presented to the writer and the artist. This year's nominees are Black Drawers from Gloria Hardiman and an Unknown Writer. Brenda by Charles Waller and O.C. Smith. Stroken by Clarence Carter, writer and artist. Ten Ways of Loving You, P. Glass and Lenny Williams. And lastly, Triple Shot by J.D. Cash, Bob Kubin, and Jay Oliver. And, and the, the winners, winners are... are... Suspense? I'll let you. It's upside down. Oh. <laughs> Brenda! <laughs>
I'd like to thank my very good friend and the greatest singer in the world, Mr. O.C. Smith. I'd like to thank all you wonderful people involved in Beach Music Awards and the Beach Music Association and all the disc jockeys and all the club disc jockeys and all the club. And most of all, I would like to thank my inspiration for writing this song, Brenda Aronson. I dedicate this award to you. Thank you. Thank you very much again. God bless you. Terrific. Jacqueline, you're doing very well in the physical fitness program. <laughs> you know, in, in 1958, an aspiring young singer met an equally young record producer who had big ambitions but no money. The producer talked to the singer into recording a record entitled, Come To Me. It was on the brand new Tamla record label, number 101. What is unique about Tamla 101? I'll tell you what it was. It was the very first Motown recording. However, due to the lack of funds, the distribution rights were given to United Artists Records. The record went on to become a national hit for United Artists. And the producers, Barry Gordy Jr., went on to fame and fortune with Motown. As for the singer, Marv Johnson went on to record several more national hits, including Move to Mountains, I Love You, The Way You Love, I Love the Way You Love, and You've Got What It Takes, the latter reaching the top five in the United States. Marv now spends several months a year in the Carolinas performing and recording. So ladies and gentlemen, Motown's first and one of its greatest, Marv Johnson. Marv. Before doing my next song, I'd like to very briefly state that I am a part of a very wonderful new organization 
called for a love of rock and roll. You will be hearing more about this wonderful, beneficial organization for the artists who are down on their luck, for the artists who grow a little older and don't have anything to keep them going. So keep looking out for, for love of rock and roll. Mr. Joey D, our chairman. Moving along. It's been a long time since Gloria Hardiman stood on a wooden box as a child to sing in church. A preacher's daughter, she expressed her faith and special love in her many recordings since, including When a Guitar Plays the Blues, Set Me Free, and Meet Me With Your Black Drawers On. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, Chicago's and one of America's finest vocalists, Miss Gloria Hardiman. Gloria!
put her black drawers on. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you know, ladies and gentlemen, many of our artists tonight, as well as Dennis Dale McLean, have something in common. You see, they used to work in Motown. 
But when Denny was woodshedding in Detroit, it wasn't with a musical instrument. Though he did play some pretty wild tunes on the Hammond organ and a few clubs back there, but instead, his woodshedding was with a ball and a glove in the all-American pastime. In his prime year of 1968, he accomplished what no pitcher has accomplished since he won 31 games in a season. I mean, that's, that is unbelievable. I'm a big baseball fan, and I'm sure that good old Dizzy Dean himself was there to say, way to go, kid. So ladies and gentlemen, here to present the award for the LP album cover of the year, former Detroit Tiger pitching great, two-time Cy Young Award winner and author of his new book, Strikeout. Here he is, Mr. Denny McLean. Thank you very much. It's uh, terrific to be here. Anybody here from Detroit? All right, there's three of us then. The award for LP Album of the Year is presented for the best cover design selected from product released in both the area and the industry. The nominees for this year's award are Embers for Colors. The Entertainers, Don't Let Your Love Grow Cold. Chairman, The Music. Bill Deal, Ammon Tharp, and the Sheiks of Shag. Shag Time, Always Wound. Shaggers, Delight Two. Repeat Records, Beach Beat Five. Maurice Williams, Let's Do It Again. The Tams, Beach Music for the Tams. Repeat Records, Coolin' Out Cassette. And Repeat Records, Ebb Tide Cassette. Ron Moody and Centaurs Kassengel. Southeast corner of the United States, USA. And the winner is, you sure, aren't, you sure there aren't any more? <laughs> Entertainers, don't let your love grow cold. We worked, our, we worked our tail off on this, didn't we, JR? Yeah, I think we stayed up uh, <laughs> several weeks all night long uh, thinking about beach music, the sand, beautiful girls. Right. And uh, our artist, Mr. Tom Pope, if we forget him, he's actually the man that came up with this entire idea. Mr. Tom Pope, please. I am, uh, you know, this isn't. Uh, some people might not think this is much, but uh, you know, it's not whether you get a, what you get an A in, it's just as long as you get the A. And, uh, <laughs> and I, I, I want to, my wife didn't come up here tonight, and, uh, but uh, she said, honey, I, if I thought you were going to win anything, I'd come up there and see you. But, <laughs> so this for you, Gail. We won it. All right. Thank you. The entertainers, ladies and gentlemen. Playing 31 games. Well, uh, as we are seeing tonight, beach music influence is both far ranging and far reaching. But when you want to hear it pure and from the heart, you don't need to go any farther than right here where we are here tonight. So, here to do a medley of some of the greatest beach hits are Billy Scott and Buddy Skipper. And to start things off, here's our friend Johnny Trudell.
John Trudell. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Buddy Skipper. He's going to boogie the joint. Gentlemen, we promised you a medley. Here he is, Mr. Billy Scott, singing Hey, Hey, the Blues is All Right.
Smith's life as a singer has had the flow and tempo of a hit song that finds its audience and never, ever lets go. Now, in the early 60s, he replaced Joe Williams as, as uh, Count Basie's lead singer and stayed with the band for three years. And in 1968, he won a Grammy nomination for his million-seller standard, Little Green Apples. He sang the themes from the motion pictures, The Learning Tree, and Shaft's Big Score, and racked up more hit records with Help Me Make It Through the Night, For the Good Times, That's Life, Don't Misunderstand, Dreams Come True, and What You Gonna Do. O.C. Smith has been described as an old-fashioned southern blues singer, a folksy crooner, and a whole lot of soul. Can this all be from one person? Well, it sure can. So here he is to prove it. Ladies and gentlemen, O.C. Smith. You don't need me Say you're gonna leave me Today So you say That you can't take it Think that you can make it Your own way Well, I'm not so sure gonna feel so secure when you discover that I'm not around what you gonna do when the sun don't shine what you gonna do when it's crying time what you gonna do when you feel Nothing of me, well, okay. If that's the way you want it, baby, let's get on with it. Beautiful. I wanted to do the dancing part, but they wouldn't let me. 
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the balloting for tonight's awards was conducted by the Beach Music Awards Association and the Beach Music Academy. All ballots completed and received were then forwarded to the nationally renowned accounting firm of McGlattery and Pullen, who tabulated the ballots for the various categories. They then compiled a report indicating the voting results. This final report was delivered to the Beach Music Awards yesterday, and the results are being announced for the first time when the envelopes are opened here this evening. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce the senior partners of McGlattery and Pullen's Raleigh office, Mr. Dave Gaspardic and Mr. Jerry Blaine. Thank you, gentlemen, for your work on behalf of tonight's balloting. Um, you know, Glenn Scarpelli, Glenn Scarpelli began his professional career at the age of nine when he was cast by director, great director, Arthur Penn, in the role of Golda Meyer, son in Broadway's play Golda with Anne Bancroft. For several seasons, he starred as Alex on One Day at a Time, and he is currently shooting a film titled The Favorite, starring F. Murray Abram. Of course, you remember him from uh, Amadeus. And our second presenter is Valerie Pappas, one of those rare creatures gifted with a rare ability to make us forget our problems. Her comic genius as an actress and comedian has been shared with millions of Americans in her act at Harrah's and Reno and the Dunes in Las Vegas and LA's Comedy Store and New York's Improvisation and Catch a Rising Star. She has also appeared as a regular guest star on television's The Cheat Show, The Tracy Ullman Show, The Late Show, and The Jimmy Walker Special. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my good friend, Glenn Scarpelli and Valerie Pappas. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I, we, we, we're put together for one reason. Because we're both closet shaggers. Yeah. We were, do, we were really doing some happening stuff backstage, but instead of showing you here, we are going to just invite each and every one of you to Valerie's hotel room tonight so you could join in with the festivities. Oh my God! How's that sound, good? Okay. The Group Vocalist of the Year Award is based on the performance of an individual vocal artist who performs with a group either on records or in person. This year's nominees are John Thompson, the Band of Oz. There's no just like home. Dink Perry, the Breeze Band. Norman Johnson, the Chairman. Craig Willard, the Embers. Earl Dawkins, the Entertainers. And Jackie Gore, the Embers. And, <laughs> and the winner is Jackie Gore. First of all, I'd like to say I did not prepare a speech like Earl Dawkins with the entertainers did. I know he spent a lot of time on his speech, but there are five people that mean a lot to me. That's the other five guys in the embers. I love y'all. Thank you so much. The nomination process for the Beach Music Awards has been a long and carefully constructed venture to ensure that all areas of beach music receive the recognition that they really deserve. Only the members of the Beach Music Awards Association and members of the Beach Academy are really allowed to vote. The ballots are tabulated under the supervision of the accounting firm of McGladry and Pullen, and the results are announced during the awards presentations. Now, our next group has been coming on strong since they began as a four-piece rhythm section. They've added two brass players, and with their new sound, they've opened new dimensions in rhythm and blues their 1987 single, Between Hello and Goodbye, received two nominations 
as broadcast song of the year for this year's Beach Music Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, rhythm and blues like you really rarely get a chance to hear it. Here they are, the Breeze Band. Seven was the year for this one right here, yeah. For every little kiss, there's a little teardrop. For every single thing, there's another heartache. And the road is rough, and the going is tough. No, oh, it's a hurting thing. Maybe I'm a fool to keep on loving you. Cause every 
come a time he'll bring my heart in two. But I want your soul. I want you, though I know. No, it's a hurting thing. No, this is a hurting thing. Sometimes it's gonna feel so bad. Now when you think you've got it together, something's gonna go wrong every time. I'm here to tell you that. Love is a living thing. I used to love to hear Jackie go sing this tune. That was the year of the natural man, y'all. Oh, I don't want no go what's for working 50 years down nine to five. Oh, I'm a false man who's goes to the champion, and I'm built in fear and some dive. I want to be happy and free, living in a love for me. I want to be happy and free. Yeah, just like a natural beach music singing, man. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. All right, this is the one that was number one. Y'all, come on, help me out. Yeah. Come on. You're gonna miss my loving. You're gonna miss my loving. You'll never lie. Another love like mine. You'll keep searching and searching your own night through. television star Annette Sinclair has co-starred in Weekend Pass and was featured in Mismatch, Thief of Hearts, Beverly Hills Cop 2, and Singapore Harbor, and she has starred on television in True Confessions, Days of Our Lives, Santa Barbara, Another World, The Late Show with Ross Schaefer, and can currently be seen in the latest Eric Carmen video. Harry Turner presents the originals each Friday from 5 to 7 p.m. on W. RDX FM in Charlotte, North Carolina, and on WKDX on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. His syndicated show is also aired on 17 other stations from Florida to Alabama. Now, Harry won DJ of the Year Award at the second annual Beach Music Awards. Uh, he DJs at the Chandel's Beach Club at the Ramada Inn in Spartanburg, South Carolina. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Harry Turner and Miss Annette Sinclair. Hello. Hi there, folks. <laughs> the award for Beach Club Record of the Year is based on production quality, performance, musical background, and engineering for a dance club single or album. The award is presented to the producer and to the artist. Hey, what a voice she's got, huh? This year's nominees are Black Drawers, Bruce Iglauer and Gloria Hardiman, Brenda, Charles Wallert and O.C. Smith. Stroke Him, Clarence Carter, Boogie the Joint, Jay Mitchell and Gary Gibson with Buddy Skipper, and Gonna Get Along Without You Now, Nick Straker and Jerry McCabe with Viola Wills. And this year's winners are... Stroke Clarence Carter. Hey! 
Ladies and gentlemen, Clarence Carter could not appear with us this evening. The Beach Music Awards Board of Governors is proud to accept the award on his behalf. You know, every now and then a vocal group comes along uh, whose sound and harmonies transcend time and generations. The main ingredient is such a group. They possess the elegant style that still echoes the melody of romance. The group's new single, Meant to be in Love, assures that the main ingredient will continue to be loved by their many fans, both then and now. Here to sing their hit, Everybody Plays the Fool, ladies and gentlemen, the main ingredient. It said, okay, so you're heartbroken. You sit around moping, crying and crying. You say you even think about dying. Well, before you do anything rash. Dig this, if you know the song, sing along. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. Stick your right hand up in the air 
folks, and wiggle, wiggle. Okay, now you don't have to say nothing. Just listen. I don't mind you say that you're going away. I just don't want to be lonely. guest here uh, to present the Group of the Year Award is better known as the Prophet because he began singing his career uh, as Billy Scott and the Georgia Prophets. Now, Billy, he really won his Single Artist of the Year Award, the first annual Beach Music Awards show, and then his recording of Slow Shag was nominated as the Song of the Year at the second annual Beach Music Awards. This year, he is one of the nominees for the Entertainer of the Year. Not only is he an actor, a singer, entertainer, and songwriter, but he is also a poetry writer. So ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Billy Scott. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, they didn't send anybody out here with me because they said the suit was so hot that nobody could stand. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Group of the Year Award is based on the vocal performance of a group as a unit, either on recordings or in person, and the award is to the group. Now, this year's nominees are the Breeze Band, the Band of Oz, The Entertainers, Shag Time, and The Embers. And the winner is The Embers.
30 years is a long time. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoarse for hollering for all these groups tonight. It's been fantastic. We've won this award twice already, and we never expected to win it a third time. But thank God and all you people for voting for us. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, 10 years ago, an award-winning vocal group called the North Tower Quartet joined forces. You remember them? Well, they joined forces with the former Top 40 and Beach Music Band called North Tower and went on to release several of Beach Music's great hits. Their most recent release, Paula, was nominated in the category of Best Original Song by the 1988 Beach Music Academy. Here they are to sing for you now. And their name, North Tower. Yeah. 
That was our latest release that's called Paula. Right now, we're going to do a medley of three songs for you that's going to be on our forthcoming album. in the sky, love was burning in your eyes, nothing in the world could bother me, cause I was living in a world of ecstasy, but now you're gone, I'm just a daydreamer, walking in the rain, chasing after rainbows, and they never find a day, life is much too beautiful to live it all alone, knowing that you need someone to be Am I in the right place? This kind of feeling's too good to be true. I'm living in a dream world since the day I met you. Now you're the cream in my coffee, the sugar in my tea. So much sweeter than honey to me. Now every day, girl, and every night, I take your sweet love.
The multi-talented Billy Ward uh, was a top vocal coach on Broadway and was a special service officer and the director of the United States Army's famed 76th Artillery Choir. He was an artist and talent director of Liberty Records in Hollywood. In the 1950s, he turned the music world around by writing and recording 60 Minute Man, which not only topped the hit parade for an unprecedented six months, but jolted the industry with its revolutionary sound as sales zoomed past the three million mark. Also here to present the award for Floor Show Group with Billy is Jennifer Parker, Miss Florida USA 1989. Now Jennifer is a senior at Leon High School in Tallahassee, Florida. She is a dedicated dancer and enjoys painting, sketching, reading, and lifting weights. Mr. Billy Ward and Miss Jennifer Parker. The award for Floor Show Group of the Year is given to the group in the area and industry presenting, what else? The best floor show. And the nominees are the Embers. The Fantastic Shakers. North Tower. Catalina's. The Band of Oz. The Entertainers, Part Time Party Time Band, and the Fat Ammons Band. And the winner is. The Fantastic Shakers. <laughs> I've heard several speeches tonight. I think the floor show segment of beach music is extremely important because it's something we see every night. We see it in Charlotte, we see it at Myrtle Beach, we see it in Raleigh. And long and short story is the Shakers are built on having fun and smiling. And when you see the Shakers next time, the Shakers do Ray Charles, they do the Mean Green Monster, and we want to say thank you very much from the bottom of our hearts. The fantastic Shakers want to say thank you for this award. Yeah, Jennifer, weightlifting does help. You know, <laughs> it seems that North Carolina has really been the home of more great beach music artists than any other part of the country. And at the top of that list is our next artist. He was born in Statesville and now lives in Greensboro. And as with many other singers, he began his singing career with his church choir while he was still a little boy. Now, before long, he began his own gospel group and eventually branched out into other types of music. So now playing with a group called Sweet Dreams, he wrote a special song nearly two years ago that he is debuting on tonight's show. So here to sing Heartbreaker, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Larry Moe Moore. <laughs> So special, the best in the world. Hey, yeah. when we spoke of marriage, the wedding bells ring. Our hearts were so full of love. I'd do anything. Then came that sad day. Slide. 
You know, when one talks about the giants of the music industry, no one stands taller in terms of his special gifts than our next presenter. He's done it all, producer, writer, arranger, and musician. By Barry White's own count, he's amassed a total of 103 gold albums, 38 platinum albums, 20 gold singles, and 10 platinum singles around the world with his various artists in six years following hits after hit, the Barry White sound is one that comes from a love of his craft. As Barry himself has said, only a love or something can make you a master of it. Ladies and gentlemen, a master with few equals, the one and the only Mr. Barry White. Thank you. Uh, this award is for the female vocalist of the year, and it is based on the artistry and vocal styling of the individual artists performing on records or in person. And the nominees are Gloria Hardeman, uh, Viola Wills, mm, Denise LaSalle, Coco Taylor and Bridget Danielle. And the winner is Gloria Hardeman. Thank you. I'm lost for words. <laughs> I just want to say, first, I want to give thanks to God for that who gives me my talent. I want to thank Alligator Record for putting out the record, Black Drawers. I want to thank my band for bearing along with me. And most of all, I want to thank the people at the Beach Awards uh, tonight, all right? So, I'm just happy. <laughs> Yeah, great talent, uh, very wet. Uh, I can't get down. I think you got to be tall to get that kind of way, way down there. Yeah. You know, the beach music we hear today can be traced to the earliest days of rhythm and blues. And when you hear it, just try to keep your body from moving, boy. I'll tell you, it's tough. You have to dance. And that dance is the shag. Now, the shag had its early roots in the, uh, as a style of somewhat like the lindy. And one group in particular has elevated the beach sound to its pinnacle. And here they are to perform for us now, ladies and gentlemen, the Clovers.
to flip that record over there. Some people told us, say, don't play that song. We did it anyway. I don't play it no more. Don't play it no more. Don't play it no more. Don't, no, 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 no. Don't play that song for me. You know it brings back memories of the things that I Ladies and gentlemen, as two phenomenal dancers for the past 11 years, Brenda and Shad Alberti not only teach dancing professionally, but they have also won national shagging competitions. Here to present the award for Beach Show Club of the Year are Brenda and Shad Alberti. You got your glasses on? Good girl. The award for Beach Shag Club of the Year is presented to an outstanding beach music club dedicated to 
playing primarily beach and shag music. The acceptance of the club and overall leadership and contribution to the beach music image. This year's nominees are Reds Beach Club, Raleigh, North Carolina. <laughs> Fat Harold's Beach Club, North Myrtle Beach. Groucho's Beach Club, Charlotte, North Carolina. The Sand Flea, Greenville, South Carolina. The Bushes, Greensboro, North Carolina. And the winner is? Let me open it. Hurry up. <laughs> Bad Harrells. Bad Harrells. I can't tell you how much it means, but without the people that work for me at Fat Harold's, Lulu's at the pad, and Harold's on the ocean, I couldn't have done it. We couldn't have done it. Without the dancers and you, the customers, thank you very much. Thank you for being beat people. Ladies and gentlemen, back now to take us on another beach trip is Mr. Billy Scott. Billy. You know, a professional DJ right here in Raleigh, Steve Hardy, has been labeled the godfather of beach music DJs. 
DJing for more than 18 years, Steve broadcasts his original beach party over station WPTF AM 680 on the dial. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Steve Hardy. Good evening, how's everybody doing? I'm here, of course, to present the award for the broadcast record of the year. It's based on production quality, performance, engineering, and for broadcast single and album cut. The award has been presented to the producer and to the artist. And this year's nominees are Brenda Charles Wallard, and O.C. Smith. Oh, come on. Ten Ways of Loving You, F.L. Pittman, and Mr. Lenny Williams. Between Hello and Goodbyes, Tim Eaton and Breeze Band. It started with a kiss. How about that? Mickey Host and Hot Chocolate. Oh, wow. Please don't walk away, General Norman Johnson and the chairman of the board. And tonight, the winner is, if I may. Wow. I wish it were me. <laughs> Brenda! Charles Wallard, O.C. Smith. Thank you so very much again. This is really um, an honor. Uh, I, I'm really lost for words, so if you remember the first words I said uh, earlier this evening, just, um, just imagine that I'm saying them all over again. Thank you and God bless you so very much. Thank you once again for sharing this with us, and I'd like to thank the staff of the Beach Music Awards, and John, and Larry, and Paul, and Diane, and Carol, and everyone for doing such a beautiful job. God bless you. We love you. Thank you. Bill Deal, Amon Tharp, and the Sheiks of Shag not only founded a band, but created a style of blending instruments and voices that became the unique feeling called Beach Music. Reviews of writers and fans alike have been the highest raves. Here they are to perform for you now. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Deal, Amon Tharp, and the Sheiks of Shag.
Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Walker has been making people laugh for years. He returns to television this season as Sonny Barnes, the new syndicated sitcom, Bustin' Loose. Now, Jimmy captured America's funny bone for years as the witty and lovable J.J. on long-running series Good Times. Jimmy also works with aspiring comedians and comedy writers, and he's really helped the early careers of David Letterman and Jay Leno. In addition, he is a music lover and an avid saxophone player. So, ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to Jimmy Walker. Please, please, that's not enough, but I'll take it anyway. My God, here we are at North Carolina State. Why not? Somebody has to be here, and we're here. I like it. It's wonderful. It's always interesting for me to work the South, though. Whenever I work the South, it's very strange because, see, I, I'm, I was working way down south, Huntsville, Alabama, much more further south. Than and the cops down there and the cops up here are much different, man. I'm traveling along the street going along 56 miles out in a 55-mile speed zone. Cop pulls me on wants to give me a ticket. So all you can do is give me a warning. Guy fires two shots over my head. It's a very interesting thing. And the country's going berserk. Now we have our president, George Bush. Incredible, he's in, it's, it's very amazing. But my man did not win, I was very upset. Jesse Jackson, a black man running for president. I know a lot of you can relax because he didn't make it. But Jesse's in and it's, because it, it, see when Jesse was running he did very well. A lot of people got, didn't realize, Jesse won in a lot of states. Jesse carried Alaska, he won in Alaska. This is true. The reason Jesse won in Alaska is because he's the only candidate the voters could see. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. People running for president, Michael Dukakis was running. I love the name, Michael Dukakis. Sounds like some kind of disease, doesn't it? Sorry, Mr. Walker, but you have Dukakis. 
It's a very interesting thing. George Bush, now the president. It's amazing. I cannot believe it. You know, George, George Bush had a debate with Jesse Jackson. See, I think George Bush is informed on a lot of issues. George Bush had a debate with Jesse Jackson. Jesse Jackson asked, said, who are the five most influential black men in American history? George Bush said, the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> the man was just not aware of the issues, man. I'm checking out what's going on in the country, and it's totally amazing to me. I'm checking out that. I'm watching TV, and you know what I'm talking about. You guys watch TV. And they make sometimes, it gets very crazy. I don't know if you know this. They have TV shows now that criminals are actually watching all the time. Have you seen the show? America's Most Wanted. Have you seen this? Criminals are watching themselves every week. It's like, look, there's Bubba. Oh, God, man, you look good coming out that 7-Eleven. What's happening, brother? Nice to see you, man. And I get very irritated about some TV commercial things. You know what I'm talking about. One, they make the black folks look bad, and I'm very irritated. You know the commercial I'm talking about? The McDonald's commercial. The white people come on very smoothly. Hi, I like a Big Mac, some fries, and maybe I'll take a chocolate shake. Thank you very much, no problem at all. Black people, we get to come in in matching outfits with a ghetto blast on our thing. I want a Big Mac and a chocolate shake. I want a Big Mac and a chocolate shake. And the fries dancing in front. Yeah, we want a Big Mac and a chocolate Oh, man, I'm very irritated about the whole thing. And I don't know if you guys have heard this. On television now, they have commercials that appeal to the ethnic group that is watching the show. And by this, I mean that they have an Hispanic show, they have Hispanic commercials. They have an Oriental show, they have Oriental commercials. I'm watching a black show the other day. Pillsbury Doughboy comes out. He's burnt. <laughs> you know I'm upset, man. And some commercials have a way of sneaking up on you. Like you're sitting in your living room, minding your own business. All of a sudden, you hear, Attention, hemorrhoid sufferers! <laughs> Say, if I'm suffering from hemorrhoids, I don't want to be called to attention. <laughs> Under any circumstances, man. Country's gone crazy, commercials on TV. Have you seen this one? This totally amazes me. Carl Morland gets on. Have you seen Carl Morland? Carl Morland gets on and says, you are about to witness a crime. These people are carrying cash. Now, you're supposed to feel sorry for these people who are in Europe on vacation carrying lots of cash. Personally, I think they are stupid. If you're in Europe on vacation carrying lots of cash and you see Carl Mullen coming, get the hell out of there! <laughs> There's gonna be a crime. Just don't stand there like a fool. And have you guys read about this? I cannot believe it. Drug testing in the post office. This is true. Drug testing in the po post office. One drug they won't find is speed. <laughs> Thank you. You guys have a good evening. Enjoy the show. We have a great people here for you. Thanks for coming out. Back again to introduce the award for Best Original Song is Gary Thoreau. The award for Best Original Song is presented to the writer of the best song recorded and distributed in the area which relates to the beach music industry. This year's nominees are Loverboy by Norman Johnson and Mike Branch. Your Precious Love by Mike Stewart. Behind Your Lies by Rick Sanders. A piece of a candy from Norman Johnson and Mike Branch, again. Paula, which was written by the whole group, North Tower. We Can Build a Love by Doug Reed and the East Coast Rivieras. Something Special by Ted Tedasco. Let's do it again. Maurice Williams and Jerry Goodman. Always Be My Girl, Chris Eaton. Doing the Shag from Chris, uh, excuse me, Charles Wallert. Triple Shot of R&B from J.D. Cash. And finally, Southeast Corner of the USA from Ron Moody and Walter Warman. And the winner is...
da 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 How about this? Paula from North Tower. I tell you what, you people don't know what this means to this band. Um. <laughs> We're still kind of new to this thing, and, and, and we sort of put ourselves out on a limb doing some of the original songs that we've done. And boy, this is going to inspire us to do a lot more good things, I tell you. We just wanted to thank a few people. Um, we'd like to thank Tim Eaton, Donnie Lawrence, and David Henson at Studio East. Yeah, they do a lot of work for us. I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Steve Hardy and John Hook and all the other DJs that play all the beach music. Yeah. And a special thanks to uh, Mr. John Aragona for all he's doing for beach music. Y'all give him a nice hand. Come on. Yeah. And a very, very special thanks to all of you, all the people who like beach music, to come out and see all the bands. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, here once again to present the award for Broadcast Song of the Year with Kenny James is Kimberly Payne. Miss Tennessee USA for 1989. Now, Kimberly plans to complete her studies in broadcast journalism with an eye to someday becoming a major network news anchor. She was appeared, she has appeared in several commercials and has been a USO performer. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kenny James and Miss Kimberly Payne. That it is. <laughs> the awards for broadcast song of the year is based on music, composition, and lyrics, contents, and artist performance. For a single or album cut, broadcast for beach music, listening pleasure. It is presented to the writer and the artist. This year's nominees are Brenda by Charles Wallert and O.C. Smith. <laughs> Meet Me With Your Black Drawers On by Gloria Handeman and an Unknown Rider. <laughs> Between Hello and Goodbye by Teddy Randazzo, R. Joyce, and V. Pike and the Breeze Band. <laughs> Ten Ways of Loving You by P. Glass and Lenny Williams. And last but not least, it started with a kiss by Errol Brown and Hot Chocolate. And the winner is... Brenda. Thank you again. I'd just like to, um, again, thank all of the beautiful people who are responsible for this. I'm just um, uh, filled uh, with gratitude. So again, thank you so very much, and God bless you again. Thank you. I think they like us. Yeah. <laughs> By same sentiments, God bless, and we enjoy you as much as you enjoy the music. Thank you once again. I'll take it. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, show script sound are three S words that have to take a back seat to a fourth. One that sums up the beach music phenomenon, and that is shagging or shaggin. Shagging is what happens to the feet, hands, and body when those fine beach music sounds come rolling across the sand or the dance club floor. Nowhere can you find a group producing those sounds any better. So here they are now, shag time.
We all know uh, the fantastic role Motown has played in the music industry over the years. Uh, Fuller Gordy is the senior vice president for the corporate affairs of the Gordy Company, which was previously known as Motown Records. Now, he has been a member of the Hollywood California Chamber of Commerce for 12 years and has served on the Hollywood Presbyterian Hospital Advisory Board and the boards of other communities and organizations. He has dedicated his life to helping guide the youth of our society. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a privilege to introduce the presenter of the award for producer of the year, Mr. Fuller Gordy. Good, good evening, uh, Raleigh, and uh, I'm very thrilled and happy to participate in the Beach Music Celebration this evening. The award for Producer of the Year is based on the Beach Music Academy's choice of the person for or persons responsible for the production, the overall production of the best recorded product of the year. This year's nominations are Johnny Barker, Gerald Davis, The Embers, Colors. Gerald Davis, Cruz, Shudu, Fufu, O, and Why Get Up. Tim Eaton, The Entertainers, Don't Let Your Love Grow Cold. The Band of Oz, Too Hot to Handle, and One More Step to Take. The Breeze Band, Between Hello and Goodbye. Part-time Party Time Band, Let's Pick It Up Where We Left Off. East Coast Rivieras, we can build a love. Gerald Johnson, the chairman of the board, the music. Steve Bassett, Shag Time, your precious love. Gary Gibson, Buddy Skipper, Boogie the Joint. Meet me at Grandma's Joint and let's rock a while at Reds. H. David Henson, the Band of Oz, Always Be My Girl. North Tower, Paula. Bob Cuban, J.D. Cash, Triple Shot of Rhythm and Blues. And Charles Wallert, O.C. Smith, Brenda, doing the shag, you're the first, my last, my everything, you saved me, spark of love, and what you gonna do? And the winner is, let's see, thank you. Tim Eaton. I'd like to thank all the artists in this industry, Dink Perry, Earl Dawkins, John Thompson, the entertainers, Jackie Gore, I could go on all night, Craig Woolard for one, Craig Woolard is a great entertainer, I'm proud of the entertainers in this industry. I'd like to thank my partner Don Lawrence and his wife Angela and his father DC and the staff at Studio East. I'd like to thank John A. Ragone. Thank you a lot. As an artist, Billy Davis Jr. is not one to rest on his laurels. Once a member of the legendary Fifth Dimension pop group and later with Marilyn McCoo, one half of a gold-selling pop duo, he has since moved on to a phenomenally successful solo career. Constantly seeking new ways to nurture his extraordinary talent, Billy's latest project, is the very contemporary 12-inch single, I've Been Thinking About You, recorded for MSI. And here he is now with a style that can't be touched, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Billy Davis, Jr.
just anticipating But while she's all alone there waiting, try a little tenderly. It's not just sentimental, no, no, no. She has her. Soft and gentle, it makes it easier, easier to bear. Oh, you won't forget it, no. Young girls, they don't forget. My next presenter is one of the luminaries of the entertainment world, singer, nightclub entertainer, and star of motion pictures and television, Barbara McNair puts forth the effort to make everything she does a work of art. Having been the first black woman numbered among the world's 10 most beautiful women by the International Society of Cosmetologists, Barbara rose from small supper clubs to the most famous nightclubs in the nation. Now, her roles in, in musical and dramatic television are really critically acclaimed. She co-starred on Aaron Spelling's series Glitter, and she can be seen in a reoccurring role on ABC's General Hospital. She is currently negotiating with a major recording company to be begin recording again, and I can't wait for that. So, ladies and gentlemen, here with Mr. Jimmy Walker, the incomparable, the beautiful Miss Barbara McNair. for Male Vocalist of the Year is based on the artistry and vocal styling of the individual artists performing on records or in person. The nominees for this year's award are... Ah, the nominees are O.C. Smith, my man. <laughs> Very good cat, yes. Lou Rawls out of the Windy City. Yes. Dink Perry. <laughs> Delbert McClinton. And last but not least, from Muscle Shoals, Alabama, uh, Clarence Carter is there. And the winner is... Oh, my... Oh, no. My I winner guess. is my man, O.C. Smith, the one and only. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all again so very, very much. Uh, the words um, 
again escape me because I'm just filled with gratitude and I just want to thank all of those beautiful uh, people who are responsible for this and I'll cherish it among the others for as long as I live. So thank you so very much and God bless all of you. Thank everybody. Thank you. It's a great artist. It's great to see OC with all the awards tonight. You know, after more than 30 years, 10 LPs and numerous 45s, one of the tightest and best sounding bands performing today still stands on top of the mountain. Their latest album, Colors, released last June, is by far their finest to date. So ladies and gentlemen, here they are, the Embers.
The award for Entertainer of the Year, Mr. Barry Wayne. Thank you, Frankie. Thank you. The award for Entertainer of the Year is presented to an individual performance or performing in the beach music area of the industry. Who is the choice of his or her peers? The best Entertainer of the Year. The nominees for this year awards are... General Johnson, the chairman, Bill Pinckney, the drifters, Joe Pope, the Tams, Maurice Williams, the Zodiacs, Harold Lucas, the Clovers, Dink Perry, the Breeze Band, Bo Squats, Shakers, Jackie Gore, the Embers, Craig Woodard, the Embers, Danny Woods, the chairman, Ronnie Gatans, the Catalinas, Billy Scott, Dynamic Breakers, Earl Dawkins, The Entertainers, and John Thompson, The Band of Odds. And the winner is... The Ambers. Except God bless all of you. Thank you so very much. I mean, after 30 years of this kind of mess, and it just keeps going on and on and on. God bless the people who support beach music. 
and the people who keep making that beach music for those people who really enjoy it. God bless you. Thank you so much from the Embers. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this time talking to Brenda, Mr. O.C. Smith.
Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beach Music Awards dancers doing BMA Shaggin. the award for Album of the Year is one of the stars of the Bill Cosby Show, Miss Tempest Bledsoe. And again, Mr. Billy Davis, Jr. The award for Album of the Year is presented for a particular album as a complete unit. The judging criteria include artist performance, musical background, engineering, packaging, design, artwork, layout, and liner notes. The award is presented to the various artists involved. The nominees for this year's award are Don't Let Your Love Grow Cold, The Entertainers. Delbert's Greatest Hits, Delbert McClinton. New Blue Bloods, various artists. Dr. CC, Clarence Carter. And Boogie the Joint, Buddy Skipper. And the winner is. Wait, let me get this open. Don't let your love grow cold, the entertainer. And uh, I can't hardly think of anything. I'm so nervous. It's still... And Gail, do you see this? <laughs> <laughs> my wife, Gail, and my little girl, Brooke, of three years old. This is for you, baby. I love you. The entertainers, don't let your love grow up. Thank you. Every now 
and then a vocal group comes along whose sound and harmonies transcend time and generations. And the main ingredient is such a group, possessing an elegant style that echoes the melody of romance. The group's new single, Meant to be in Love, assures that the main ingredient continues to be loved by all fans, then and now. Here to sing their hit, Meant to be in Love, ladies and gentlemen, the main ingredient. Thank you. We'd like to dedicate this song to the producer and writer. His name is Charles Wallet. We'd also like to congratulate Mr. O.C. Smith, but particularly Charles Wallet. I'm singing this to my woman instead of you singing to Brenda, okay? Let me love you in a special way. Let me tell you what I have to say. Let me show you that you and I were meant to be in love. Come to the high point of this evening's awards, the Jackie Wilson Lifetime Achievement Award. And it is our pleasure to have two very special presenters of this award. The first is Mr. Stan Catron, past vice president of BMI Broadcast Music Incorporated. And the second is our very special guest, Miss Marlene Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think it's inappropriate at this time to have everybody get together and give one big round of applause and appreciation for a guy that did a tremendous job with a very difficult, difficult task. Ladies and gentlemen, Frankie Avalon. Let's hear it. We didn't know I was going to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Now, may I explain very briefly what a BMI is? BMI stands for Broadcast Music Incorporated, and we are the largest performing rights society in the world. People like Michael, Michael Jackson, Cool and the Gang, Christopherson, Simon and Garfunkel, 
Those are the people that are associated and members of BMI. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me to tell you about the BMI Jackie Wilson Lifetime Achievement Award. And it is presented to the individual who best exemplifies the highest standards of beach music. Throughout Jackie's life, he believed that because music gives so much to the world from the soul, music artists should, in like manner, give unselfishly to promote public awareness of the great joy music can bring. The BMI Jackie Wilson Lifetime Achievement Award is presented to an individual who, in his own time, on his own time, promotes beach music without interest and personal gain by acting as a goodwill ambassador and encouraging the growth of beach music. The nominees for this year's award are... Maurice Williams, Bill Dio, Clifford Curry, General Johnson, Joe Pope, Archie Bell, Bill Pinkney, Jackie Gore, and Billy Ward. And the winner is... And the winner is, ladies and gentlemen, somebody that unfortunately is unable to be here tonight. He's ill. And we didn't find this out until just very, very, very short time ago. But ladies and gentlemen, to accept for the winner of the Lifetime Achievement Award, ladies and gentlemen, Maurice Williams is the winner, and Jerry Goodman will present and accept the award for Maurice Williams. Thank you very much. Uh, Morris, unfortunately, couldn't be here tonight, and I know he will cherish this award, especially following people like Jackie Wilson and the Clovers, and he would like to thank everyone, and especially to radio who has stuck with him for so many years, and to everyone that's been so supportive to him, and I know he will cherish this very much. Thank you. On behalf of Maurice Williams, East Coast Entertainment, thank you very much. We appreciate the Hall of Fame more. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the close of the third annual Beach Music Awards special. To all of our guest artists, a tremendous thank you for helping us celebrate the great sounds and shagging steps of beach music. And to you, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for coming here tonight to join us in this special celebration. So until next year, from all of us, may I say, if you ever feel as though you're coming to the end of your rope, just tie a knot and hang on. Good night, everybody.
ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Beach Music Awards Incorporated, this is your announcer, Bruce Hayes, hoping you'll all join us next year when we'll be presenting the fourth annual Beach Music Awards from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Y'all come, you hear? See you there.